It's Wednesday and you've done your two hour morning routine, gotten in 20 minutes of solid work, and the meal service you just finished was delicious. But now it's time for some afternoon work. But then BAM! It's hard to focus. You're tired. You struggle to make your immigrant parents proud. <gasps> but then you realize, wait, the first two might be fixable. No! This is the Levels Continuous Glucose Monitor, or CGM. It tracks how your body responds to the food you eat based on your interstitial glucose. Why is it important? That meal service that was so delicious actually spiked my glucose so much that it caused a crash. And a crash equals no energy. Without knowing this, I would have continued to struggle with a lack of energy and poor metabolic health. Now remember, I'm not a doctor, as my parents wish I was. This is my personal experience. I'm a stranger you're watching on YouTube. From the Levels website, poor metabolic health is associated with worse brain function, no energy, awful memory, low mood, poor skin health, fertility challenges, and a higher risk for chronic disease. After using Levels for multiple months, here are the different lifestyle changes that I've made for better productivity. Food selection. I've stopped using that meal service, I've transformed my daily eating and lifestyle habits, and I've been more mindful about my food. Over the months of using Levels, the Levels app starts to show and analyze which foods impact my metabolic fitness in different ways. At the top of the list shows the foods that cause the least amount of glucose spike. Sadly, when I sort it the other way, the worst kinds of foods are the Mr. Beast Burger, my beloved ice creams, and the brownies that I obsess about. But the biggest thing I've learned is that ice cream has less of an impact on my glucose versus a brownie. So I'll tend to choose ice cream over a brownie if I want something sweet. And as I begin to understand the vast amount of different food that I eat and how it impacts my glycemic response, just this awareness of taking photos of my food, seeing the spike based on that type of food, it has invited me to make slightly better decisions when it comes to picking the food I eat. Next is exercise. One of the easiest ones is walking after my meals. I've noticed that when I walk after a nice cookie or ice cream that I eat, the spike is a little bit less than if I were not to walk. So just incorporating a simple 30 minute walk after a large meal minimizes the dreaded fatigue that I feel after that meal. Something that I'll also do is a HIIT training or some kind of intensive exercise in the morning and that heart rate spike in the morning will actually minimize the glucose spikes I have throughout the day. So I know on those days, I can be a little more relaxed on the foods that I eat that could negatively impact my metabolic fitness and on days I don't exercise I make sure to eat a little healthier <laughs> sleep I focus on getting better sleep because I know the days where I get good sleep I've noticed that my spikes are not as high when I have better sleep that night now we're not perfect humans and I know I'm gonna have bad nights of sleep sometimes I want to work harder later or I stay up for some any reason what Lovelace has taught me is that I will try to avoid processed or high sugar foods the next day because my sleep was a little bit worse managing stress meditation, yoga, exercise, socializing with friends. I've noticed that on days where I feel less stressed from work, where I've done strategies to help minimize my stress, I have less of a glycemic response. And even caffeine, caffeine actually increases cortisol, and on those days when I do drink caffeine, it can tend to increase my spikes even more. The order of which I eat. Protein and fats can actually mitigate the spike from carbs and sugar as long as I have those first. So if I'm eating a meal of rice and salmon, I'll try to eat the salmon first and the rice after. That will just slow the absorption of the food that I'm eating. Lastly, environmental toxins. So I do measure my air quality. I do have an air filter in my room. I'm able to see my volatile organic compounds, VOCs or particulate matter. And there have been some studies that show that it could disrupt your metabolic function. So better safe than sorry. There are other reasons to have good air quality as well. But just understanding the air in my bedroom and home as well as using tools to manage that can be very helpful for me. Levels is just another technology and tool in my arsenal to help drive behavior change to live a healthier life. You can use my link below to skip the wait list. There are a few things to note. The Freestyle Libre Harbor was actually built for diabetics and this is not for medical use. It's really good at measuring large swings in your glucose levels but when it comes to managing smaller swings in your interstitial glucose it can be slightly off. So the thing I made sure to do is always calibrate it by measuring my blood glucose the day after I put it on. Now a new feature they've recently added is you can connect with a nutritionist because you should talk with an expert and I am not one. They have a couple of early access nutritionists you can speak to to better understand your data and how your food is impacting your productivity and your life. And lastly, this does require some effort. I have to log my meals, I have to scan the device on my arm. So if you're not ready to dedicate a little bit of time throughout your day to better understand this data and to capture the data, you might not be ready for this yet. And like I said, sleep, exercise, and food are all interrelated. So it's really helpful to automatically import your workouts and sleep data into the Levels app via Apple Health. So that way you can like find correlations. And ideally, you have a sleep and fitness tracker that syncs all that data to Apple Health for you so you can pull it into the Levels app. So make sure to watch my video linked below that compares my two favorite fitness and sleep trackers, the Apple Watch and Whoop. 